Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mentor YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do a budget interior restoration on your C2 Corvette, so be sure to stick around. So I started taking the interior part in the 63 because we're going to do the chassis swap, and this interior could use a little bit of a freshening up. It does have a little bit of a funk inside, so we're definitely going to go ahead and pull this carpet kit out and the one underneath. That should be the really fun one, and we're going to put a full carpet kit in this thing. So I got to pull the seats out of this, and I'm also going to look for, well, this is... This foam is rock solid. I'm gonna look for another armrest as well. And I have another pair of door panels that are worn a little bit less. So I'm gonna set those on the door and see if those ones look any better. And I'm also going to try to dye the dash pads. I'm gonna clean them really well and try just to make them a little bit more red and just take out some of this burnt orange and kind of gray looking color. So I think we should be able to bring this interior around. So I cleaned the dash pads up with a scrub brush and some Dawn dish soap, then went over them with a white scotch bright, and then just used a couple different cleaners just to make sure they're nice and clean before we start. So actually just removing all the dirt that was in them made a big difference, but we need to dye them because you can see they're still very discolored. And once I paint one of them, once you see what the color is supposed to be, you'll definitely see how faded and discolored the other one is. So I have some interior dye here that is the right color. Side by initial coats on the dash pad, you can see compared to the dash frame, it is a completely different color and it looks so much better. It's much more uniform. I'm gonna give it one more coat on the dash pads just to go ahead and make them more uniform. So I'm gonna mask off the inside of the car, windshield trim, you know, windshield, some of the dash and everything, just throw some paper over it, go ahead and shoot the dash frame itself. So let the dash pads cure up overnight and these things turned out really nice. I put quite a few coats down. Uh, these are very porous and they just kept soaking up the dye. So I put down several coats and then I put down a couple coats that were pretty far away just to help kind of even the tone out. That way I didn't get zebra stripes or anything. They look nice and even. Now if you'd probably rub over it with a cloth just to get any extra excess off, it'd probably even make it more uniform. But I'll probably try to set these things out in the sun let them bake in a little bit, but these turned out really nice. And the dash also turned out really good. So I just need to unmask this and then put the pads back in. That'll really make a transformation in this thing. I have the floor insulation and sound dampening kits for the front and rear of the white split window. They're from Flatline Barriers. This stuff's pretty nice because it's super lightweight, hardly weighs anything, and it's like a foam with a sticky back, so it's not like the butyl rubber stuff I've used in the past that weighs like 20 pounds per box. It's also conveniently pre-cut to the car. I don't know if I'm gonna use every single piece. I think I will in the front, but the back it comes with pieces to go inside the storage compartment. I think I'm gonna delete on those for now 
but I have the floor cleaned up, just like it says, clean all the debris. So I removed all the old foam off, scrubbed the floor, got it all really nice. So now it's dry. Set it all in there, make sure it all fits without having to trim it. And then we'll go ahead and start installing these piece by piece. I think I'll start with the back and then move my way to the front. So I have the rear carpet installed in the car and that turned out really nice. And I have the passenger side, front side. I'm happy with the way that one came out as well. I'm waiting to do this side and the front until I get the rest of the wiring. I'm still waiting on a radio uh, antenna cable. Of course, there's a shortage of everything. So once I get that installed, I need to address the seat belt mounting bracket also. So once I get those two addressed, I can get this side finished up, get the carpet in, sill plates, uh, get kick panels in and stuff, but now I want to focus on the dash So I'm going to get the gauge cluster and I have the old misfit gauge cluster over there with the same wiring harness That was on it so that way I can have all new wiring in this car a fresh gauge cluster I got the white Corvette out of the garage. Really happy with the way the front bumpers fit up. I never had bumpers on the Misfit frame, so it's good to see them on here. Everything seemed to turn out nice. We also got door panels on the inside, dogs going crazy. And we're gonna put AC in this car later, so for now I'm gonna leave the glove box out, the radio side panels, and we're waiting for some more wiring before we can finish the carpeting in the back. But overall, everything turned out really nice on it. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I still have a little bit of work to do on this split window to send it home, and we have a bunch of other projects waiting in the queue. So I got a lot of work to do, and I'll catch you guys later.